People have told me that there are some who finish this game in 6 hours and I have no idea how they finished this game in 6 hours. It took me 6 hours to get to the first lieutenant. Okay? To Zamora. It took me 6 hours to get there. I don't know how people fight through 4 lieutenants and fight macros in 6 hours where it took me 6 hours just to get to one lieutenant. What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Today we are reviewing a game that I bought to play with my PS5, Godfall. Godfall is an action RPG developed by Counterplay Games, published by Gearbox, available on PC and PS5. We play as Orin, a Valorian, fighting his way to defeat his brother Macros, before Macros ascends to become a god. To become a god, Macros needs to collect a lot of Ethereum, which he enlists his four lieutenants to collect for him. So Orin goes out to fight these lieutenants, so they stop collecting the energies, right? There is Zamora, Lunara, Greaves, and Gildan. After you defeat all of them, you fight Big Bad Bro Macros. For each of Macros' lieutenants, you need to travel in different lands. Each lieutenant is in charge of a certain area. And before you can even fight the lieutenant, you have to collect certain items. A lot of these items are in areas and the further you are in the game, the higher level your enemies are. And there is a lot of enemies, a variety of enemies. You got some, you know, teeny weeny basic little enemies that you can one hit. And then you get some enemies that are casting magic, some enemies hitting you hard. Bruh. Sometimes you need to strategize against these people creatures, whatever you want to call them. The fighting style is melee focused. There is light attack, heavy attack, you can block, parry, and evade. Players can fight up to two weapons and they can swap it while fighting. The cool thing about this, each type of weapon has its own style. So at one point, a player would want to have like a lighter weapon and just do a bunch of attacks in the same amount of time as a heavy weapon. Which a heavy weapon, your character does move slower, but it hits really hard. Godfall has a lot of fighting combos. A lot. There's a lot of fighting combos. There's area effect, breach, rushing strike, northern technique, Southern technique. You can also fight with your shield that you use for block and parry. And then players can activate Arc and Fury, which decreases damage. Players can't take damage. It has a powerful initial effect, like a stun. And depending on what type of Valor plate they're equipped with, they have unique abilities. To activate Arcane Fury, players need to fill up the Ethereum charge first. I mentioned Valor Plates. So players can create up to 12 Valor Plates, each providing a unique passive trait, Arcane Fury, and Augment Constellation. They all have their unique traits, like some are for fire, chill, poison, etc, etc. With the different Valor Plates and types of weapons, there are a lot of combat to consider with a variety of button combos and a variety of weapons with unique styles for each combo. For example, each weapon type will have its own style for Northern Technique and Southern Technique. After you remember what they are, that's when you're going to be more selective on what type of weapon you're going to equip. Players are always finding loot containing better equipment, from weapons to accessories, increasing their stats and such. Then, players can forge and upgrade their equipment. Along with that, there's a skill tree. 
that upgrades skills and traits along with unlocking fighting techniques. For example, you can't fight with your shield until you unlock that technique in the skill tree. Players will be playing the main story and in the main story there are missions. There are main missions, side missions, and mini missions. Your main mission is to get to the lieutenant, but to get there you need to collect some elemental sigils. Some of the elemental sigils are connected to some side missions. You're going to see on the map that there's a bunch of options. All of them will have rewards, a certain amount of elemental sigils. When you're in that area, you can also do some mini missions. And these mini missions, they pretty much make you explore all over the map. Like pretty much. And because you're doing those so you can collect items, you're grinding at the same time. Which then helps you level up and get more powerful. That way you're ready to fight the lieutenant. Fighting your enemies can be pretty intense because all of them fight differently. There's going to be different classes of enemies and sometimes you're just going to have to like strategize how to fight them. There's some where you can do it really simple and easy, hack and slash them, and others you have to evade them, you have to block, you have to parry, you have to time things and all of these combos they do require button combos. You're literally using all your buttons. You're using the trigger buttons, you're using the bumper buttons, and everything else. With the controller, you can even feel the impact you make when you're hitting your enemies. So when you're hitting them with the light attacks, you kind of feel it, like little rumbles. But when you use the heavy attacks, you feel the rumble is like, boom, well, I'm like, ooh, dude, oh, okay. All right, cool, wow safe to say that you need to pay attention to stuff. Graphics are phenomenal. You can differentiate colors. There's like light reflections. You can even see things shining. Oh, it's just gorgeous. When you're doing the northern and southern techniques, the game will portray a charge on your weapons because you have to hold the left trigger to like charge your weapons and then to execute it you either press R1 or R2 to execute and then you see like an after image they have like a light image of the motion of your character oh glorious and the game does give you an option to customize the graphics from maxing it out to toning it down however you want to do it. Whatever you prefer. Do what you want to do. Godfall does have co-op. Unfortunately, I have not been able to utilize that because for me to play with other people, I need friends in my list, in my friends list, to actually have the game. The game is only available on PS5 and PC. So, I'm waiting for a couple people. One of the biggest critiques I heard about Godfall is that it's grindy. And I disagree because as I was exploring, like getting familiar with the area, the land, and different areas I could get to, I was also fighting enemies everywhere I went. And I leveled up pretty quick from that. And remember when I said that there's mini missions? After you're done with the main mission, you're going to be prompt to do other missions, mini missions. You don't have to do them. But there is a time where I didn't pay attention that my main mission was done. And I kept doing these mini missions. These mini missions took you all over the map, yo. Like, it'll say, okay, find hidden items. And you have to use this, like, spirit vision. You have to find hidden items. So you're going, like, all over the place. Because you're going all over the place, you're encountering all kinds of enemies. Like, I pretty much experienced all the enemies in about two hours. And I was like, holy cannoli. And I pretty much leveled fast because of that. Then later on, when I realized that my main mission was done, I was like, oh, okay, time to get out. Go back to HQ. <laughs> 
and I continue with the story. The story took me to some of these places, and I was like, oh shoot, I went ahead of the game. I wasn't supposed to fight that person yet, <laughs> but at least I know how to fight them now. And I was at the right level. I struggled a little. I struggled. I struggled a little. But not too much where I was like, okay, I need to grind. I think that's where people thought that it was grindy. Because they rushed through the story. They got to that enemy. That boss. Whatever you call them. And they're like, I'm under leveled. I'm under equipped. So they go all over to fight these other guys. So they can level up. Go through the skill tree, improve their weapons, equipments, and such, and then go back to that little boss, whatever you call it. I think that's where people find it grindy. I'm not too sure because they didn't really explain why it felt grindy to them. They didn't. And that's my game review of Godfall for the PS5. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or opinions about the game, leave them in the comments below. I also have a Discord. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can visit the Discord, talk about the game, ask questions there too. And I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina where I stream Godfall 2. So you can stop by the stream ask questions, talk about it, etc, etc. Outside of games, I also host Podcasts Across Worlds where we talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like that kind of stuff, check it out. I have a link to the podcast in the description below and I also upload the videos on YouTube. Other than that, my name is Lehua and this was a super fun review of Godfall for the PS5. Hope you guys like this, and I will see you on the next one. Laters. Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump.